ladies and gentlemen welcome back to nino sport man this is a brand new project man i've been quiet for some time but yeah i'm back with a brand new project it's not like a fc call career mode it's not gonna continue it will continue man but i just want to start another challenge before the end of this fifa 20 because i think this might be my last career mode if uh it takes long because this might take very long maybe five seasons um I don't know but this is gonna be the biggest challenge i've tried i hope i'm not gonna be disconnected to it but i will try as much so far i'm excited i'm enjoying it it's very good to do it man i feel good every day to do this career mode uh but there would be some different things that i would do on it i'm not gonna comment on the game like um i'm gonna let Mac and Tyler and Lee Dixon do their thing. They're gonna comment on the game. I'm just gonna come in the beginning of the episode and in the end of the episode to analyze what has taken place. But you're gonna watch the highlights with those guys in charge. I don't know how you take that, but if that's fine with you, I'm okay with it. I like it. I'm not good at commenting anyway. So yeah, uh, I think that's um, a change that's gonna happen in this project especially in the first season because we are in league one so of course it's not gonna be that exciting but let's look at the team that we're taking on i'm gonna take on blackpool what's gonna happen in the first season i would use the squad that they have maybe add some little bit of youth players what i'm gonna add mostly it's teenagers i'm gonna sign teenagers maybe like few though maybe i will sign three four in the first season because the team is like really terrible then second season we are signing no one that season we're not signing players maybe regions at some point in the fourth season maybe we're gonna look for messi and ronaldo's regions maybe Ibrahimovic in the first season i don't know but mostly this thing is gonna depend on the youth in the second season we're gonna try and sell almost all the players that we found in the team that are old and promote our youth players we're gonna try to do that and we must try and go to the premier league with those youth players and the regions remember I'm not in the PC. That's why I'm doing this. If I was in the PC, I was just going to start the, the first season with the youth players. But then I'm on Xbox. I can't mod. I can't do anything. Xbox is so stupid. Those who play on Xbox, they know that. So that's what I'm going to do with this career mode. Uh, youth team, it's what we're going to depend on. Looking at the team, the team was found in 1887. And it's, play, it's based in Blackpool in England, of course. Uh, the club only have one trophy in their case, man. They only have one domestic cup. So, yeah, that's the thing. Uh, we don't have much budget. But I, uh, I'm gonna maybe have to pull up the... the um, what do you call this? Financial takeover. A little bit just to get some good youth scouts. So I'm not gonna use that money to sign big players. As I said, no big names in this one youth scout is what we're gonna depend on so we need best of the best maybe three best scouts in the market so that we can maybe get this thing going and getting some good uh, players in all the countries i'm gonna put i know i'm gonna put the scout in england but honestly speaking i'm putting that because uh, this team is in england and surely they should have a scout in England, but England hasn't been good to me. They only giving me rubbish players. I'm sorry to say, but yeah, they are giving me only rubbish players. Uh, Spain, I think I'm gonna put one in Spain. Spain has been good to me, and one is gonna be in Africa as well. I like to put some scouts in Africa. Like I don't want to put scouts in Europe only. To me, it doesn't make sense. You, you need to spread your scouting so that you'll get more quality players in your team. So, without wasting any time, I think we're going to go into the game. But first, let's look at their demand. Domestic success, medium. So, I think it's going to be mid-table, maybe. Um, continental success, very low. Of course, there's nothing there. Brand exposure, low. 
financial medium, youth medium, but I'm going to tend that to high. As I said, my own objective is to get this team into the Premier League, get something better out of them, make Blackpool like um, one of the recognized clubs. Let me just say so. Not only in England, but maybe we can find a Europa League sport at some point. Minimum five seasons. Maximum, I don't know, maybe ten. I don't know because there's still a whole lot of work to do with this team. But yeah, guys, that's that. Right now, you can enjoy the highlights. Meet you at the end of the highlights. Hopefully, this video is not going to take long, but it might take long because we're going to do maybe one or two signings. Uh, and then I'm going to sign some free agents as well. I'm going to bring in some free agents to help us in the first season. But second season, I'm going to sell all of them. At the end of the first season, I will sell all of them. Then see if our youth scout is going to get us somewhere they're gonna do a great job maybe bringing us some good players but other than that guys enjoy the highlights meet you at the end of the highlights thank you well this is the setting for our featured match today welcome to you i'm martin tyler he's alan smith and it's the start of the season for both these teams it's blackpool against bristol a player that uh, likes to attack the ball he doesn't shy away from the physical side either That is a supreme save at full strength. Nathan Delfonso treads it through. Looks the goalkeeper in the eye. Real chance now. Back into play off the post. Brilliant defending. It saved a certain goal to an opponent. The cross is long towards the back post. That's the breakthrough. It's been a very good start to this game. And they've got the goal that really their football has suggested would come. He wondered whether missing chances would leave them regretting those misses. But now they've opened the scoring. And you would feel that they'll go on a win from... Nathan Delfonso. Is this the moment? Very sharp reaction save from close... Move on from this wide area where there is room. And finish it off. Real chance now. Well, that could be the insurance goal here. That little bit of daylight that they were after. And the referee blows for one last time. First weekend of the season, a great way to start it. They've won. Yeah, it's a great day for football in this lovely stadium. Martin Tyler here, Alan Smith is sitting alongside me. It's EFL League One football, South End United against Black. Good piece of tackling there. But can put them in front here, but he's missed it. A really wasted opportunity. He did all for Rotherham United. 19 minutes played to put them in front. Incredibly, it's still nil-nil. Crowd giving him a bit of... Impressive. It, oh, it's true. So it's half-time and we're still waiting for that first goal. ...can make the difference in the remainder of this match. Then in the shot, go! Well, that's the way to take the lead. That's a stunning goal. Fine move. Excellent application in front of goal. He's a really good player. And he's taken Portsmouth, 61 minutes played, 3 0. Great to have Alamac threads it through. In the clear for a great chance. Got to keep his nerve here. And they have scored. And they do lead now by two. And they've worked very hard for this. It should get them across the line at the end of the match. We'll see. News again from Alan McInally. Thanks, Alan with great vision here. Can he finish it now? They can't stop him. It's a save, somehow. Or no one. He's put in the corner. Well, now it looks like a question of just how many. They really are on top now, stretching the lead, looking like the real winners of this match.
And good evening on what is a perfect night for football. The floodlights shining down on the players as we speak. I'm Derek Ray, joined by Lee Dick. Can't miss, surely. And it is the opening goal of the contest. Well, it was always going to be a tight game, but now all of a sudden, one team ahead. Things have got to change on both sides. A lot of green space to run into. Delivering it into the box. And he's done it! Parity again! A magnificent game unfolding! Really tense battle so far. And now the second half is underway. Can he finish this? A foul, but this is why we adore this game. Late drama, and now they're in front. Well, it looks like the game is over, but no. There's another chance, and there it is, back of the net. It looks like the winner. Broadcasters promised us a very pleasant day for football, and that's exactly what we've got. My name is Derek Ray, and with me in the commentary position is the Arsenal legend Lee Dixon. And what we have coming up for you is live action from League One. It's Blackpool up against Portsmouth. Well, how? In full control of the ball here. It might be the moment to get them ahead. Can't miss, surely. That will give them quite the lift. An early opening goal lead. Well, you always want to start quickly, and there's a, certainly a quick start there. What a finish. Good technique displayed. Crossed in there. And finishing there with more of a whimper than a bang. Derek, that reminded me of you. Finishing like that, it's just terrible. Fine cross into the middle. And it's gone behind for the corner. And that is how to block. Not much time to make up his mind. And giving the ball to the opposition that time. Teamwork might be the key. A really sumptuous ball. And offside is the decision. It must have been very closely. Well, yeah, the linesman's got the best view of them all. I think he got that right. And the referee has added on two minutes of stoppage time. Well, he's given it away. To dispossess his opponent. Excellent ball over the top. And he could cash in. Well, they can say a big thank you to the goalkeeper. That was inspirational. And he's broken free. And it's there for him. It's still alive. Into the goalkeeper. Real chance. Dealing with the threat. And there goes the final whistle. And that's exactly what we've got. I'm Derek Ray here on the commentary box. And I'm joined for commentary by Lee Dixon. They have to supply some sort of support to the wide players who will try and provide the service for the lone striker. Must be the perfect counter-attacking opportunity. And he's made headway. Still a chance. Can they put it away? Now, counter-attacking possibilities here. Can they take the lead here? And a goal it is, the opener in this game. Well, keep it tight, that's what both managers would have been saying. But now the opening goal's gone in. Tactics have got to change. It's Ronan on the ball. And so it is, the first half story has been written.
Well, someone has found the net in one of the other games. Here's Alan McInerney to tell us more. It's a second goal for Oxford United. Can they convert? And it's gone in. Just what the doctor ordered. Things looking very bright for them now with this buffer. Rose. Dangerous looking attack. Can he put it away? And favouring power over subtlety, he's hit the woodwork lead. Well, eight yards to aim at. He's missed all eight of them. Possession changes hands. The interception there. And the referee says that is all for today. Hello everyone, you know some footballers enjoy a rainy day, not sure fans always feel that way, but this looks promising. Cross towards that far post, and a goal it is, the opener in this game. Well keep it tight, that's what both managers would have been saying, but now the opening goal's gone in, tactics have got to change. challenge carried with it quite the element of risk now what's the referee going to do next will this prove to be a turning point ascending and he takes on the shot and how about that for reflex action perfect perfect goalkeeping Hello and a warm welcome on what is a glorious night for football. Perfect playing conditions. I'm Derek Ray and joining me here on the pitch. Well, that's one for them to pursue. Will it lead to the goal that puts them ahead? The net is staring him in the face. There it is. A delightful start to this match. Just what they were hoping for. The opposition. On and on he goes. A glorious chance. And it's gone in. Just what the doctor ordered. Things looking very bright for them now with this buffer. Again, we've seen it before. We'll see it again. Their counter-attack play has been absolutely... Can he put it away? The goals keep going in for them. I don't think they're going to throw this away now. Absolutely omnipotent. Jurgensen. Promising sequence. It should be. Well, he didn't have it quite on the target, Lee. Oh, no, it was a great off. Fired over the corner, and they've only gone and applied that finishing touch. Possession changes hands, the interception there. 
can he put it away? Well, that's a procession of goals, and surely there's no way they can let this slip now. Absolutely dominant. And now it is truly final. The match is over. Yeah, it's a great day for football in this lovely stadium. Martin Tyler here along with Alan Smith. It's Carabao Cup football for you. It's Blackpool against Manchester United. Well, in they come, they're piling into the middle. Difficult skill, good effort. Yeah, timed it perfectly, as you have to do with Rashford. A chance to whip it in here. Only partially cleared, so there's still some problems for them. He's had a bang at goal, and uh, I must say, credit for that, but nowhere near. Yeah, a little bit more. With great vision here. Time to size up the situation in front of goal. Well, this was the moment for the first goal of the game. Well, he was almost weak pass. Now James. Great ball. Saved, but not decisive. A goal at last. The first goal of the game. And we've waited well over an hour to get it. But it's the... T well, the referee has blown his whistle, and the game has ended 1-0. So, beaten here, and that cup, which was within their reach, is now totally out of their reach. Yeah, they're clearly disappointed, and... Looking back, I think they'll be upset by the way that they played. Didn't really do. What a perfect day for football we've got here. Martin Tyler here to call the action for you, along with my good friend Alan Smith. The football today comes from the EFL League One. Getting the ball back and thinking attack straight away. Trying to find an opening and he might be through. We knew about the pace and it was too quick for the opposition. Great goal. Well, what a sight to behold that was. The opposition was out. I think he saw the look from the other player and saw where the pass was going. And it's come to an end now as the referee calls a halt. That brings us to the end of the highlights of the first episode of Blackpool Career Mode. Um, let's look at what happened. But first of all, the biggest highlights of this first episode was the game against Man United. I showed you the starting 11. They had the best 11 that you can think of in the Man United. Pogba and Fernandes in the starting lineup. Like everyone was there. Inaki Williams leading the line. Rashford playing. But they only managed to beat us 1-0 in the cup there. It shows us that, okay, we're not far off. Actually, this team surprised me. The way they are performing, Ronan is one of the best players in the midfield. Man, is doing well. My backline is better. Okay, you can call it packing the pass or anything. But I'm playing 5-3-2. That's the best lineup I can play with this team, man. Usually when I play uh, with the smaller team, I play that lineup. Okay, I don't care. I'm not Moreno though. I'm scoring goals. I'm winning games. If it works, don't change it. Leave it like that. Okay, next up, let's look at the league table. After 11 games that we played, man, we managed to get 11 wins, no draw, no loss. Uh, we didn't score. We scored like 25 goals. It looks like a lot of goals, but honestly, I think we only have uh, two games where we scored three or more goals. Other than that, we were scoring 1-0, 2-0. It's just that our defense has been good. 5-3-2 is working for me now, and I'm happy with that because I don't want to score a whole lot of goals, and I don't want to consider a whole lot of goals. Uh, the game becomes boring if you score a lot. I want it to be natural like this, like you can't score more, but you can't concede more. It looks more realistic to me. On second, we have Sunderland with um, 11 games, 9 wins, 2 draws. Okay, that's good. It's not bad. 
um, on the four points separating us. Then Fleetwood on third with 27 points, Portsmouth on fourth with uh, 24 points, Bolton on fifth with 22 points, Ipswich on sixth with 21 points, Wycobe on seventh with 20 points. I don't know if I called that name right. Uh, Bristol Rovers on the eighth position with only 19 points, six wins and one draw, four losses there. Then we look at the mid table now. On the ninth position, we have Oxford United on 15 points, Petersburg on 15 points, Doncaster on 15 points, MK Dons on 15 points, Rottenham United on 15 points, Tremonet on. Um, 15 points as well, Conventry on 14 points, Shrewsbury on 13 points, they are on the 16th position. Uh, looking at the bottom of the league table, on the 17th position we have Burton Albion uh, with 10 points, we have Lincoln City on the 18th position with 9 points, Akrongton. They are on 19th position with 8 points. Roch and, uh, Rochdale, they are on 20th position with 8 points. Gillingham, they are on 21st position with 7 points. Then we have Wimbledon on the 22nd position with 6 points. South and on the 23rd position with 6 points. Barry, okay, I was expecting that. I was expecting that. Uh, on the... Um, last position with basically two points uh, they are really struggling they are really struggling man by the way if you want to see a better career mode on the description below you will get the link go to set gameplay man the guy's doing a great job with the berry he's doing a great job with saving berry just go there and watch that it's really amazing now i think it's on the 12th or 13th episode now it's really a good episode other than that, guys, thank you so much. I'll meet you in the second episode. I know this episode will be big, around 25 minutes, but then it's the first episode anyway, and it's a road to glory. It's a youth academy. It has to be like in depth. In the next episode, we're going to have a look at our youth, um, our, youth squad, our youth squad as well and see what we have there. And we're going to promote some few players from our youth. Thank you so much for watching please don't forget to subscribe don't forget to like the content and share it i really appreciate that thank you so much